Gun violence in Durham is at an all-time high, and it shows no signs of slowing down. The most recent data shows there's an average of two shootings every single day in Durham. It's the subject of a brand new WRL documentary premiering this week called Durham Under Fire. And WRL's investigative doc reporter Kristen Severance produced and hosts the doc. She joins us now to talk about it. And Kristen, this is such a complex issue. Why did you and the team want to pursue this? Well, Renee, you know, I don't have to tell you this. You know this. You anchor the news every day. We cover these shootings just about every day on WRL. But all of us agreed, you know, there needed to be a deeper look at why it's happening what it's doing to families, what it's doing to the community, and really the most important thing, what's being done to stop it. As part of this, we were given exclusive access to the Durham Police Department to see how officers are fighting this rampant and complex issue. And as part of that access, we did a series of ride-alongs with officers from Chief uh, Police Chief Patrice Andrews. We also rode along with the gang unit. Police tell me staffing levels have never been this bad. There is a 20% vacancy rate, 111 11 openings. And Chief Andrews and her command staff, they're now covering patrol shifts to help out the officers on the street. And we were actually with Chief Andrews for her very first shift. Now, this was a Monday afternoon, 40 minutes into our ride along, there was a shooting at a gas station. And we're about to show you uh, a clip from the documentary where she gets back into the car after responding to that shooting. There is just no regard for life. And when the shots were fired, everyone scattered, but there were people there that had small children. Just thinking that in broad daylight, it's 117 and this happens. I sense just like a real frustration. It's frustrating, it's frustrating as hell. Broad daylight, such a public right. place, and 40 minutes right when you right. sat in the car with her. Um, I know you also talked with city and county leaders about all the gun violence happening in Durham. Tell us about that part of the documentary. So we really tried to tell this documentary in three different parts. Okay, so policing, which we just talked a little bit about, accountability, and then solutions. As part of the accountability piece, we talked to city council members, the mayor, the district attorney about you know what they're doing to fight this. Mayor. Elaine O'Neill, she is not new to Durham. She's born and raised there. She's been in office, though, just six months. She's a former longtime judge in Durham and then a law school dean. And she has been working with gang members. So part of her plan is to work with gang members or former gang members to intervene and really stop gun violence before it happens. She, you've heard this before. They're called violence interrupters. This is her movement, and it, it, this group is called the Reformers. Some people agree with her approach. Some people don't. I asked her about that, and here's her response. You brought up gangs. You know, you have gotten criticism for meeting with gangs, developing a relationship with them. What do you say to people who don't think you should be doing that? Tell them to give me another solution. That's why they call it an election. If you want to be mayor, run for it, and then do it yourself can be easy to criticize a problem. It can be right. another thing to try and come up with solutions to this, right? And there are so many layers to gun violence, and certainly this is not just a Durham problem. It's a nationwide problem. It is. Why focus on Durham? You know, several people have asked me that, and I think there, there are several answers. One, I don't. You know, Durham is growing. It's this it city right now. It consistently tops the lists of, of places to live and work, and, and it's attracting thousands of high-tech jobs but it also has this gun violence problem. And officials have said time and time again, this has to stop. You know, innocent people are dying and it's, it's really hurting the community. We, of course, spent time with and talked to families impacted by gun violence in the documentary. And, you know, they share their pain and it stays with you. You know, the, the families we spent time with, I've thought about them every single day because these are lives. I mean, you know, they're, they've lost family members and you can feel their pain. And they live with that loss and pain every day. Right. And gun violence is something that can affect any family. Right. Kristen, thank you so much. You can watch Durham Under Fire on air and online tomorrow at 7.30 p.m. on WRL and on WRLDocumentary.com.